Hey guys, it's BTGamerGirl11 back for another video. This is going to be my Wii collection video. I have five stacks over here of games. We're going to go through all of them so you guys can see what I have in my collection. And I hope for anybody that might be either starting out a Wii collection or looking for more games for a Wii collection, I hope this video helps you guys out. If it does, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what games that I do not have in my collection that are good ones to pick up. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start and get the boring ones out of the way. And there are all the ones that do not have inserts or manuals. They're basically this only. So let's get to those. First, I just have this black case. Inside of it is We Wish You a Merry Christmas. This game, like, is actually a pretty decent Christmas game. It's probably out of all the Christmas games that I've played, this is my favorite. We got Cruisin' for the Wii. Obviously, well, I just say for the Wii. Duh, all these games are for the Wii. Guilty Party. This is actually, I love playing this game. It's not for everybody, but I do like it. Myth Maker Super Kart GP. This one is really bad control wise, like really bad. But it is, it's upside down. Sorry if some of them are upside down because I can't see what I'm showing you guys. But this game, the reason why I kept it is because it's it's known for being a really bad game. It's made by Conspiracy Entertainment, which makes horrible games. So basically I kept it because it's a really bad game. But at the same time, it's kind of like... I don't know, I kind of enjoy it just for it being so bad, so that's why I have it. And then I have Penguins of Madagascar, Dr. Blow Hole Returns again. This is for the draw tablet. Then I have Hall of Fame Ultimate Hoops. This one I actually wanted to get ever since it came out. And I eventually found it on GameStop.com and ordered it, and it's horrible. I definitely do not recommend that game. The control of everything is just horrendous in that game. Fantasy Aquarium World. This one, really simple. It's basically a fish tank and you put fish and stuff in it and take care of them. But it's got really good, like, soothing, relaxing type music in it. So if you have trouble sleeping, like me, I have insomnia, if you just stick this on and listen to, like, the noises, the background noises, it actually can help you fall asleep. So if you have trouble sleeping, definitely recommend that game. And this was 89 cents, so can't go wrong with that. Now this one, I do have the second one that you will see in my collection further on, but that one has the insert and the manual, so this one is with the ones that don't. This is Glacier 3. There's a disc right there. Okay, so next, we will get to a stack over here. Okay, so we have Boom Blocks, really good game. Boom Blocks Bash Party. Um, let's get these in order. Just Dance. Just Dance 2, the Best Buy edition. And Just Dance 3. Then we have Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. Skylanders Giants. I do have like figures and stuff, but I'm not going to show those in this video, it's just games only. Got Epic Mickey, love that game. And then I have Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, which has not been opened yet because I have not completed Epic Mickey. And then I have Red Steel, and Red Steel 2. And get to the next stack over here. Uh, let's see, let's, let's move some of these, so... I have somewhere to put the stack. I want to keep them in order because it makes it easier to put them back on my shelf when I'm done. Okay, so now we got Kirby's Epic Yarn. Really fun game. Kirby's Dream Collection. Special Edition. I love Kirby. Then we have Wii Sports, which I stuck it in this case, but this is actually the the manual, and then of course it has like the little CD sleeve in here, and there's the game. So I just stuck it in here to fit my games better. Then I got Wii Sports Resort. This is a print off insert, so it's not the official insert, but yeah, got that. Then I have Wii Music. This is like all the Wii games we play, like Wii series games. Wii Fit. 
And then I have some random ones in here. And these are, let's see. Should I go through it? Yeah, we'll go through all the random ones. I'll get to the Mario ones last. I got Goosebumps Horrorland. This is actually, if you like amusement park games and you like Goosebumps, I recommend this. I paid $4.49 for it. It's, it's a really fun amusement park game. And it's actually got decent controls, unlike a lot of them that are amusement park games. The Blob. Wipe out the game. Definitely better on Wii than DS. NBA 2K11. Michael Jordan on it. I love that game because Michael Jordan is all over it. Then I got Six Flags Fun Park, another amusement park game. This one is also decent, but I, I still like the Goosebump one better. And then I got Titanic. This one is basically, the whole game is like a story. It's kind of like a mystery, puzzle-solving type story. But it's actually, if you like the Titanic, if you like enjoy watching things about the Titanic and stuff, it's actually really fun to play. If you do not like history type of things or anything to do with the Titanic, I don't recommend it, obviously. But if you do, pick it up. I paid four forty nine for it, and I enjoy it. So and I got Need for Speed Pro Street and Metroid Prime Corruption 3. Then we have Tornado Outbreak. This was $0.89. Cents. I highly, highly recommend this game. This is like a hidden gem. I was watching Metal Jesus Rocks, and he said this was a hidden gem, and I picked it up. And it is. It's like really, really fun to play. So definitely recommend it. You basically take this tornado through places and just tear everything up. It's really fun. MLB Power Pros. Great baseball game. I hope I'm in the camera, guys. I'm still trying to get used to my phone. So I'm sorry if it's kind of like one way or the other. I'm not meaning to do that. I'm trying to like put it in one spot, but I'm having a hard time with that. So sorry. I got Wild Earth African Safari. This one is decent. I mean, yeah, you'd think it would suck, but it's decent. It just, like, it's hard sometimes to get to the animals that you're supposed to take pictures of. So that gets annoying. Then we got Knight's Journey of Dreams. Like the Sega Saturn version better. Here's the U-Draw Studio Instant Artist, which I have not played any of the U-Draw games yet. I actually played it on PS3 before over at somebody else's house, but I have not played it on the Wii yet, but I got it because it was really cheap, so I picked that up. Then I got Mini Desktop Racing. Bad controls, but it reminds me of Micro Machines, so I had to pick it up for that reason. Arcade Zone. This one is actually decent, too, for an arcade game. Um, here's some of the games, if you can see on the back. It's got, like, Kaboom, Mega Mania, Freeway... Atlantis, and it's got like basketball, whack-a-mole, a Tetris kind of a game, skee-ball, an air hockey game, um, like an arcade kind of shooter game, and yeah, it's basically, it's, it's a fun game. The only problem I have with this is some of them are hard to control with the Wii Remote, but majority of them do work pretty well. The only ones I had problems with were the air hockey ones, because it's kind of hard to control with the, the way that it moves with the Wii Remote and the whack-a-mole, but the rest of them control pretty good, so if you like arcade games, I would recommend it. The Smurfs 2, never opened. I got this for Christmas a while back, I just haven't played it yet. I want to get the first one, I don't know why I don't have the first one. Arctic Tail, I picked this up because I love polar bears. Anybody that does not like polar bears will hate that game, but just because it has polar bears in it, I like it. Golden Compass, it, I got that for 89 cents. I've never played it before. I honestly don't like the movie too much either, so I don't know if I ever will. It's just kind of a filler title. Pac-Man Party. This also has um, the original Pac-Man game on it. And this is... It says it has actually Pac-Man, Dig Dug, and Galaga, but all I've played on it is the original Pac-Man because I have the other ones on other game systems. Well, I have Pac-Man too, but every time I get a game, I don't know what it is with me, but every time I get a game that has Pac-Man, like, included on it, I have to play it. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I do. Yeah, this game is really fun. It's like Mario Party. The only problem I have with it is it's... If you think Mario Party is long, this is longer. Um, I have played this game at times. It has taken up to two hours to finish. Um, most of the time, it's like an hour, but it can take up to two hours to finish a game. So if you do not have time to sit down for a long period of time, I do not recommend this game. But if you like Pac-Man, it is, it is a pretty fun party game. Raymond Rabbits 2. I love the Raving Rabbit series. A lot of people hate it, but 
I love it, so I have that. Then I have Kid Sports Crazy Golf. A lot of the Kid Sports games do not control well, from my experience. This one does, though, so I got that. Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland. Carnival games, really fun. That's a really good amusement park game as well. Zelda Twilight Princess, which they just re-released on the Wii U, but I don't really have a need for, like, for, for that game yet. I'll probably get it eventually, because I did have this on GameCube, but then I ended up getting the Wii version, and I got rid of it on GameCube, and I've regretted that ever since. But, so eventually I'll probably get this on the Wii U, but I'm going to wait a little bit and not going to get it immediately. Then I got Sabin's Power Rangers Samurai. It's it's okay. It's not like the best Power Rangers games. A lot of the Power Rangers games back in the day, like, I sound like I'm old, probably because I am, I'm like 29, but back in the day, like, Sega Genesis and Game Gear, Game Boy, all of them, all the Power Rangers games that I played on them were decent Power Rangers games. That one's kind of pushing it a little bit. Star Wars Force Unleashed, really good game. This is going to collapse at any moment if you guys can't see it. It's like up to here. And then Nickelodeon Nicktoons MLB. Alright, let's take some of these down so they don't fall everywhere. Push these back up here. Okay. Now, we have Good Boy and His Blob. Really good game. Wario Land Shake It. Love Wario. Love this game. It's short, but it's really fun. Spray, with a really bad case that needs to be replaced. Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. Sometimes I just get cravings to like play Looney Tunes games. That's why I pick them up most of the time. Then I got Klonoa, really fun platformer. Definitely recommend this if you guys can find it. I got Excite Truck. I picked this up mainly for my friend who is like my roommate and he loves trucks. And I know like the Excite bike, you know, like NES was really good. And the other Excite games that are on Wii are good as well. I've never played the truck version, but I figured he would like this because there's trucks in it. So I picked this up from him. He's played it. He likes it. I have not played it yet. So I got that. Now I have played this one. Excite Bots Trick Racing. Really good game. Rio. Multiplayer party game. If you like Rio, or if you like party games in general, try this one out. This one is unique. It's, it's like really similar to all the other party games, but it also has unique elements. Like it has this little wheel that you spilt that you spill. A will that you spill. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, a will that you spin. And basically, it's just, it makes it really fun. I don't know why. I'm like, I love Rio to begin with, but I really do enjoy this party game. So if you like party games and you're looking for something that's different than Mario Party, but it's decent, like between the Pac-Man one and this one, I would definitely recommend this one. So definitely check it out if you can find it. Then I have Animal Crossing City Folk. Disney's G-Force. I picked this up originally because the hamster on the, the hamster. I picked this up originally because the guinea pig on the front looked exactly like the guinea pig I had. And then the one on the back, which you, you guys probably can't see, but there's like a gray and a white one down there at the bottom of uh, right there. That one looked like my other guinea pig that I had. Then I got Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Drawn to Life, the next chapter. I don't know why. I like this game better on portable systems. That's just my opinion. And then here's the Glacier 2 I was talking about earlier. SSX Blur. I love SSX games. This one, not so much. Um, I don't know why, to me, it seems like after, like, SSX Tricky, um, SSX 3, the original SSX, all those games, it seems like after those, when SSX Blur came out, and the new SSX on PS3 and Xbox 360, it just seems like they went downhill a little bit. But it's my personal opinion. Still, it's still a good game. It's just not up there with the old ones. Go Vacation. This one, I really won it when it first came out. And I got it for Christmas like a long time ago. And then I played it and it's, it's just not for me. It's not very fun at all. It might be to some people, but for me personally, I just don't like this game. But I have to keep it, because really, I don't see this game too much anywhere. So I'm wondering maybe in the future, it probably isn't right now. I don't know. I've never looked it up. But maybe in the future, it'll get a little bit more rare, even though I would never sell it. But still, just keep it in my collection for the heck of it. Then we got Elibits, which needs a Wii case. And I haven't played this yet, 
but it was like really cheap when I picked it up. It was like 89 cents or something like that. So I got that. I've heard of mixed things about that. It is a Konami game, but I've heard mixed things about it. Like most Konami games are really good. Some people really like that game and then other people really hate it. Backyard Sports, Sandlot Sluggers, horrible, horrible baseball game. Don't recommend it. Are you smarter than a fifth grader back to school? I prefer the one that I have on PS2 better than this one. And that's just the original. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I think that one is Make the Grade. This one's Back to School. This one's a really good game. I gotta fix my games for falling everywhere. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Amazing game. Hard at times, but amazing game. Mad World, really unique and fun to play. Game Party 2, which... I don't know why I thought I had the first one, but I don't. So I got that one. That one's a decent party game. Then I got Manhunt 2, which is like a really random game in my collection compared to all the other games that I have for Wii. But yeah, it's it's really it's a really demented game, <laughs> in all honesty. But it's fun. Okay, so now I gotta get to my Mario and Sonic games, which are over here. Okay, so this whole stack is Mario and Sonic games, so let's get started. First we got Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Mario Strikers Charged, which I got this sealed at a flea market for like $5, and it's actually gone up in price a little bit, so I don't want to open it, but I really, really, I've played this before, and I've played it on the GameCube as well, and I need to get it on the GameCube. I played it on the GameCube a long time ago when I ran it, loved it. I've also played this one before, but um, not on my system. I really want to find another one. I'm hoping maybe this summer I can find another one at a yard sale that's not sealed. And then I'll play that one and just keep this one in my collection as sealed. But if I can't find one, this is going to end up getting opened because it's driving me nuts. I want to play it so bad. Then I got Mario Super Sluggers. Great baseball game. All these games are good, obviously. They're Mario games. Mario Sports Mix. Really fun. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Mario Kart Wii. If you notice, like, a lot of the Mario games like to put Wii in the title for some reason. And I got Mario Party 8. Mario Party 9. Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is actually the first game that I picked up for my Wii because I got my Wii really late in its life. Which I tend to do with a lot of my systems, except for the PS4. But all my other systems I have gotten late in their lifetime. So this is the first game I got for it. Then I got Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Really good racing game. We're in the Sonic games now, obviously. Then I got Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. I have all of the Sonic Rider games. This one is not the best, but it's not the worst either. Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Colors. Really, really fun. Sonic and the Black Knight. Sonic and the Secret Rings. And then I love these games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I need to get the new one that's out. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. And Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. I don't have all of them, but eventually I do want to get all of them. So, yeah. I think that is all. That is all of my Wii games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Again, if you have any suggestions for any Wii games that I can add to my collection, please let me know. I'm always looking for hidden gems to add in my collection. And yeah, um, I have a decent amount of Wii games. Wii U is another story. I probably have about mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe 20 of that <laughs> Wii U games. So I will be doing that collection, but that one's extremely small. So just a warning, this one is gigantic compared to that one. But the nice thing about the Wii and the Wii U is you can play the Wii games on the Wii U. So that's always nice. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And everybody have a great day.